you. For the guy in the wheelchair. Okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I'll get you. It's a feel good, amazing film. I mean, the actors that are in it are one reason alone. You know, you got Betty White and Sandra Bullock and Ryan Reynolds for all the ladies. I mean, and they're fabulous actors. I'm not going to marry you. <laughs> if you don't marry me, you'll be on the street all alone looking for a job. Have the two of you told your parents about your secret love? We're going to their place this weekend. Oh, where's that located? Alaska. Alaska. Have you ever had a boss that's made you do something that you're just like, oh my god, I don't know if I should do this, should I walk away? Uh, Sandra Bullock does it. Yeah, I, I mean, I've never had a boss ask me to marry them. I have definitely had them ask me to uh, uh, do things that were sort of demeaning, and I just said no. Hey, I'm Mullen Ackerman, and that's a scoop from Holly Scoop. What are your views on uh, gay marriage and being a uh, I think it should absolutely be allowed. I think that that is, I don't see any reason why they shouldn't be allowed to get married and get all the benefits that we do as straight married people, you know? And what are you uh, Prada. I had to tell. Except for the jewelry, which is Martin Katz. And what's your character in this um, I'm an Alaskan girl who uh, used to be Ryan Reynolds' girlfriend, and you know, just a small town girl, very sweet, very calm, uh, nothing, nothing crazy as some of my other characters have been. <laughs> but I'm the one who lets him, who let him go, and uh, and then he ends up finding his true love. Uh, how's your Canadian accent? Uh, you know, it's so funny because both Ryan and I are Canadians. Oh. And Sandra was the one who had to play the Canadian in this. So Did you give her I, tips or pointers? Uh, she was pretty good. I think okay. she got it. You know, we, we always say the about and sorry yeah. and a always at the end instead of huh. Yeah. So you have a few Canadianisms for sure. Were there um, Canadian jokes being cracked all over the set? Or uh, not. They not want to piss you guys off too much. No, there were too many Canadians. <laughs> they they would have gotten their asses kicked. Have you ever had a boss like Margaret Tate? No, I have not. Definitely no. not. Uh, I've been quite lucky with, with my bosses so far. They've been pretty cool. Okay. <laughs> and um, have you ever fallen in love with someone in a remote place like Alaska or a tropical place? A tropical place? It's always in the tropical places. Right. Mexico, uh, uh, the Caribbean. Yeah. I mean, it's it's a short-lived love usually, but uh, nothing that lasted. But i got to say, I met my husband in Italy, so that's, that's pretty special. <laughs> Um, and then how was his proposal? Was it more romantic than... He shoved a box in my mouth. Oh. Yeah, it was fantastic. He uh, he likes to cook, and so I uh, came into the kitchen, and he was cooking, and he said, close your eyes and open your mouth, and shoved a big old box in my mouth, and inside it was my ring. <laughs> That's how he proposed. Um, I'm glad so to. Did, uh, did tell us something about Santa Bullock we don't know. Or uh, that she that speaks that? German. Oh, I don't know if you knew that or not, I but I thought maybe you didn't. So there you go. <laughs> Thank you so much.